So once you create your KDP account and you log in, this is the home page that you would see. Okay. And you can see here that it's saying your account information is incomplete. So we're going to sort that out. We're going to fix it. So I choose update now. And you see on the left, we have three things. My profile, getting paid, and tax information. So we'll take them one by one. So which country? Nigeria. Sorry, I'm next. G-E-R-I-D. Okay. Full name. Let's say my name is Jane Doe. And my address. One, two, three, main street. Let me, not this way. Let me put them. Thank you. That actually shouldn't be there. Should be. And this is Lagos. And then you put in your postal code. Postal code for Lekki is 105102. If you're not sure what yours is, you can just Google it and um, you get it. That's for those in Nigeria. For those outside Nigeria, you know your post code. And then you put in your phone number. So first two three four and then you put in your number there and that's basically the first part of what you need to do so next we move on to the getting paid part so i'm just gonna scroll there and it says tell us about your bank and i'm in nigeria so i don't have a foreign account so i'm just gonna say i don't have a bank and what it does is it sets me up to receive um, check payments and that's good enough but there's one more thing we need to do you can see that i still see my account information is incomplete update now so we're gonna go there so i'll just go to my account and we filled in this we filled in this but we've not done the tax part right so well we could have clicked on tax information take us instead of scrolling so I'll just click on complete tax information and fill it in. So this is for people living in Nigeria. Okay. So what's your tax classification? Individual. For US tax purposes, are you a US person? No, I'm not. Are you acting as an intermediary agent or another or other person receiving payments on behalf of another person? No, I'm not and it picks the name that you filled in earlier on and then you select your citizenship so i'm from nigeria and then it picks your address and if the mailing address is the same just leave it like that and for those people in nigeria you see where you have i have a non-us 10 uncheck it and that's because um our nigerian 10 is not recognized so what you say is the country where i'm liable to pay tax does not issue tin to its residents and you choose continue and then you make sure that you consent to provide the electronic signature because if this is not ticked they're going to send you paper and you don't want that okay and then you read all this so you're sure of what you're doing and then you come in here and you type in your full name Jane Doe and it defaults to today's date so that's fine so you choose save and preview and then it shows you everything so you check to make sure everything is fine yeah yeah and everything is fine and my name and date and everything is there and I just say submit form and it's been validated and I exit the interview and you can see that it's going to show there that I've completed my tax interview so there's nothing else to do so if I go back to the bookshelf which is the default place it takes us to you can see that the message saying that I have an issue is gone so my account is all set up now